I've been involved in the program since its inception, which was in 2007. So we're now in its 12th year. Um, I'm now the curriculum coordinator. My name is Zina Richards and I'm the director of the Student Equity and Talent Management Unit known as SETMU at the University of the Witwatersrand. Real smooth. Let's go to work. To the left. So in 2006, the university received seed funding from the Goldman Sachs Foundation to start the Targeting Talent Program, with, which really focuses on identifying learners with academic potential from disadvantaged communities um, and to facilitate access to higher education. My name is Kumala Ramaisela and I'm a St. Brendan student and I come from Sishoho in Limpopo. Sishoho is a middle class township. Most people they don't believe in the power of education. Uh, TTB for me has been a great experience, the greatest milestone in my life because I remember when the, the farms got to school and I was mistakenly excluded and I had to go to the office and tell them that I belong in this program because according to the people they've chosen, I have to be there. So for a learner to participate, participate in the program, they have to have a minimum of 60% in math, science, English and life sciences. The school has to be supportive of the program as well as have a dedicated maths and science teacher. So we only deal with learners that, deal, uh, that do pure maths, not maths literacy. Being part of a TTP is quite marvelous because for me I thought TTP was just a program where we get to go to class, come back, and that was that. But then it's quite different because it has impacted my life for this few days in a such a great way. I view things in a different way now, and I believe that you can if you think you can. The family workshop was quite experienced because that's where I got to get to know more about what TTP is all about and when we got to see the video, that's when I got to learn that TTP would quite impact my life in a huge positive way. What I hope to achieve in the TTP is to gain a lot of confidence and to get to interact with people from different cultures and backgrounds because I like socializing with people and to get to improve my marks. To be a witness to a learner coming from an environment um, in grade 10, um, quiet, reserved, um, lack of agency, and you see that learner just like a flower blooming. By the time they get to grade 12, they are these amazing, articulate, you know, beings with thoughts and ideas, and, and um, it's just, just so amazing to be a witness to that. My name is Matawala Mulaisi and I'm a TTP mentor. I decided to become a mentor because CTP had such a positive impact in my life and I wanted to also have the same impact in other people's lives from where I'm from and other disadvantaged schools. As individuals, we're not only scientists, engineers, you know, or people that work in technical fields, um, and that we had to bring in the humanities component as well, because um, being exposed to philosophy, um, critical diversity, law, economics, international relations, just allows you to be able to think in a way that's deeper, broad, and wider, um, and also allows you to integrate concepts you know in a way that um, facilitates for the learners to articulate that in a coherent manner so we all know um, that there's a lot of literature that speaks to how children from rural areas struggle to adapt to the large buildings um, for example like a, a university like the, the Vidvartisrand but what the program does is it mediates that so the learners are now not only eligible for university, but they become university ready as well, which means they're just easier. 
I think our idea is that we really would like the learners to not just access higher education, but be successful in higher education. And I think one of the biggest problems I notice because I teach first year um, biology students is that the students are unable to think critically. They, as I said before, they have really geared themselves to studying for one exam. Everything is very narrow, narrowly defined. Um, by having this more global approach, I think we don't just give the learners access, I think we actually gear them for success. And it's very noticeable when the TTP learners come to WITS that they are far more comfortable, they're comfortable asking questions, um, much more so than the other students. Hi, my name is Rasana Chauke and I'm a TTP alumni. I was in the first cohort of TTP from 2007 to 2009. Well, I'm from Malamlele, so I studied chemical engineering. I decided to study chemical engineering because of my love for maths and science, and TTP did have a huge focus on maths and science, so I got to realize that not only do I love it, I'm also good at it. So. It did influence the decision in that sense. So yeah, I, I just like using maths and science to solve problems, and that's what basically engineering is. I currently work as a process engineer. Yeah, a typical day is doing calculations or dealing with issues that clients may have maybe with equipment that we've designed for them in the past. So if maybe something is not operating properly and just trying to figure out why. It's, 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 it's giving them the problem that it's giving them in coming up with a solution. The TTP um, introduced me to like other backgrounds, so I got to be in a space where there is um, people from different provinces, people who speak different languages from me, people of different races. My name is Regan. Yeah. Yeah. I like vanilla. Yeah. My name is Hukuto. Yeah. I love Pop. Yeah. So from TTP, I learned that um, what needs to be done needs to be done. So whether I'm uncomfortable or I feel like doing it, doesn't really matter. If I have a goal that I want to achieve, I have to do what needs to be done in order to achieve that goal. So if we draw the parallel to South African society, on what basis were we divided? On race. Race and skin colour. You look at your townships, you see Zulu stay here, Kosa stay there, Pedi stay there, Vinda stay there. So can you see the segregation by design? Discrimination causes a lot of unfair imbalances and how people can feel superior and others inferior. Well, what I've learned today, I've learned that uh, discrimination happens in many ways. Uh, people with a higher position or who have the power to act tend to make people who are lower than them think the way that they think without really like processing the information whether is this right or wrong. So, um, was talking about beginning the adverb game. Um, adverbs, somebody give me a definition, what's an adverb? Yes, okay, lots of hands, yes, 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 all right, you. Well, what that actually describes the motion of the board and how it's being done. 100%, okay, so typically those words are easy to identify, they usually end in L-Y. Okay, so we're going to try the adverb game. Um, I have a few adverbs up and then you have to guess if somebody is maybe walking in a certain manner, say for example, they're walking, see them walking slowly, then you know that's the adverb, then that's what you say. Okay, cool, we're all good. All right, cool stuff. Let's give her a round of applause and leave her to go outside. Position How about uh, clumsily, man? When you just walk into this, man, and, and like you drop things just like that. Okay, cool. Gosh, I hope she's able to, all right.
Can someone do the action? Glad. <laughs> TTP um, is an interesting one and interesting in the sense that yes there are very different programs that are implemented all over the country either by NGOs or by universities itself but I think for us it would be a major success if we could get every university doing their own TTP. Um, I often have a vision of how, if, if, if all of the 23 universities in our country did this, um, you know, you'd increase the number of, of learners that, that are able to become good citizens and that can contribute to nation building in our country.